Welcome back, everyone. Today, we're looking at my beautiful Mercedes AMG Project One. Well, it's actually just the AMG One now. This is not a supercar. This is not even an hypercar. This is genuinely a Formula One car that's built for the road, for everyday driving. But ideally, you'd be a madman if you didn't buy this, particularly to drive it on the track, particularly to bring this to the Nurburgring. But I've been designing this and it's been super ambitious and it's been great. So if you want to master your car design and skill, your car design topology, if you want to master the true essence of car design, you came to the right place. Now, purely out of aesthetics, this looks like a roadster. And truly, it gave me the brilliant idea of creating one of these versions of this car as a roadster. There is a rumor going around that Mercedes might create a roadster version of this car. And it sort of seems like there should have always been a Roadster. Like, it's kind of crazy that there isn't a Roadster version of this car, a convertible version of this car. Not yet. Before Mercedes creates it, perhaps I should do it. So I've got plans for this car. I've got multiple plans for this design. I'm really enjoying it and I'm really loving it. So I'm going to take you through just the process I use to model this vehicle. And to be honest, I want to continue with where I left off. I'm going to duplicate these vertices. I'm going to press P and separate. But based on the top of the vehicle, we might need another vertice right there. To be honest, I've been trying to avoid it. If I'm being completely honest, I don't want to add too many loop cuts because that's a quick way to ruin our design. But we will add a loop cut right now, just, just for principle, just for the fact that that's the way the car is designed. And truthfully, I want to stay true to the design aesthetics. So I'm going to add a vertice right here as well on our new. And from there, we can basically start to extrude some of these areas, sort of like this. I usually just extrude like straight ahead. Let's turn down the opacity of our blueprint. We don't want it to be too high, but I also don't want it to be too low. So I usually just extrude a vertice straight ahead. And then I usually add additional vertices along the design. Let's add another one. And we might need to add another one. Let's add one right there also. And we'll add another one right here. That's looking good. Let's extrude once more. We're going to extrude down and carry this one forwards. I think that should do fine. Let's add another vertice right there. And let's just carry this one up slightly. Perhaps another one right there also. So that's not looking too bad. It's actually looking quite smooth. This is just part of the reason why I like to design cars. Like it's genuinely a wonderful process to design these vehicles. Now we get to adjust this part of the car from the other direction. So we're just going to adjust these vertices. And to be honest, we might have to turn down that opacity from the rear view. Well, from the top view, actually, from the roof. So we're just going to adjust these on the X axis, actually. It's important to make that clear that we're adjusting on the X axis. And then we're going to turn down all of these opacity. We're actually going to hide that one. Let's turn down this opacity even more. Like, honestly, like sometimes I might just hide it if it gets... If it gets in my way, like I feel like if it gets in my way, I'm going to turn down this opacity also. To be honest, I'm just mesmerized by this design. Like, honestly, like I am. I am mesmerized by this design. Another thing I want to do is to duplicate these vertices, carry them forwards, view this from the top and carry it to the left hand side. And we're going to adjust the other vertices right around there. We're also going to extrude once more. And perhaps it's a good time if we enable clipping in our mirror modifier. Perfect. Join it to the other side and carry it forwards. Let's add another vertice right there. Carry this one forwards. Add another one right there and carry this one forwards. And then with this one, we'll simply just scale this down. Oof. That's, that's looking too good. No, like seriously, like that is honestly looking too good. We need to adjust this 
on the Z axis also. Do not forget the importance of adjusting these on all your axes so that it fits, so that it looks right. Let's adjust it a bit more. Let's adjust this one a little bit more and let's carry this one to the right hand side. Carry this one up, carry this one up and step away from your design to admire it. Now it's looking like a real convertible, you know, now it's looking like a real convertible. I'm not going to lie. I'm excited to make the Roadster version of this car because what I'm thinking is like most of this, like even this pillar right there, most of this is going to be, most of this is going to remain the same. I'm just going to carry this closer to our blueprint line. I like using the blueprint as my guide because it is my guide, but I like to stick to it as much as possible. So you see this area of the car, my vision, kind of crazy, but I'm thinking we use this to our advantage when it comes to the, the convertible version of this car that I'm going to create. And I have plans to create a stylized version of this car, and there will also be a stylized version of the convertible car. Like seriously, there will be stylized version of the convertible car also, and that's just, if you're into cars, that's just surreal. Like, honestly, that's, that's just a dream. So we're just going to continue to add our vertices and follow our blueprint. Honestly, when you design cars this way, it becomes super simple. Like, I don't want to sound, you know, like, I don't want to sound like that. But at the same time, I also remember struggling with car design and wondering how am I going to make it work and eventually made it work. Eventually found the right tutorials, the right advice, eventually just figure it out to make it work and made a lot of mistakes and made a lot of um, improvements. So I hope this makes sense when it comes to designing this car. You can see that's one part I'm curious about. The side blueprint doesn't add up very well with the with the one at the top. Honestly, it doesn't it doesn't fit very well. And if anything, this is one of those times where you could reflect on the real car. So getting images of the real car and viewing it for yourself is one of the best ways to see how this is actually done. Now the good news is that you see what I mean? I think a roadster is going to be easy because we just got to remove the, not the entire roof. It's going to look more like a Bugatti roadster. It's not going to look like a traditional convertible car with no rear end. We're going to keep the rear end because that's a really iconic and specific part of the car. Just the roof. We're just going to get rid of the roof, you know, just the, that small part of the roof, not the entire thing. But I think as far as the rear end of the car goes, I think it's a little bit more simplistic. I think we might be overthinking it a little bit too much. There you go. Like I'd say what we have now looks, looks all right. Trust me, I don't want to add another, another vertice. Now with these, we might readjust these also. Just bring them up a little bit. I feel like this area needs to be, it shouldn't be sunken down, like honestly. Like it feels like it should be a little bit more like that. Even though from the roof, it's almost like a different story. So I suppose we're, we're sort of breaking, breaking a few rules. Now as for this area, we might just merge at last. Carry this one that way okay that's interesting i don't know if we're going to you know work with this but we're literally just giving this a try and the thing about it is that if i'm not happy i will gladly just redesign the entire thing now for a real convertible i kind of want to just extend this area truth to be told i kind of want to just yeah extend that area 
I honestly, I kind of wanted to look like that. Truth to be told. Although these vertices need to be that much higher. Kind of like that. Although this doesn't feel right. There's something about this. Maybe it's too low. Maybe it needs to be raised. I don't know. But something about this feels like it needs to be, needs to have a bit more distance. Or perhaps it's these ones. But can you see what I mean right there when I say like, from this direction it feels a little bit off? And I think that is because it needs to be around there. So it's, it's higher, it's higher up. And that also means this will need to be higher up also. I think that might work. Just a little bit higher for this one, and a little bit higher for that one. And a little bit higher for this one. Not too high, but a little bit. And let's save that. It's looking good. I won't lie. I mean, if you told me last year I'd be able to do this a year later, I would have, I wouldn't have believed. Not one bit. But here we are. But this is what I imagined for my roadster. And there's a part of the car around there that's a little bit, like literally, it's kind of like duplicating this. P to separate, and there's this part of the car that's around, oh, this would be challenging. This is where the challenge begins, because this is where we're going to need a lot more images to, to help us out. We might need to carry these a little bit closer together. Only a little bit, not too much. This will probably be the most tricky part is getting that right. The air intake for that Formula One engine, getting that area right is not gonna be easy. So I'm excited, I am actually excited. We're just going to close off this area because I want to show you the dream, just the idea of creating a Roadster version of this car. Let's add, a couple of vertices right there. Now I wonder if we should possibly close off that area. But before we do that, I'll just show you how I imagine the Roadster could look. So we're going to fill these gaps. Let's carry this one forward, carry it up. Let's carry that one back, carry it up. And we're going to fill these areas. We're going to fill those areas. We're going to join those areas and we should probably fill this area also. And we will continue to fill these areas, but we need a couple more vertices, as you can see. I'm gonna carry it over to the left-hand side just a little bit. Fill these areas also. And we'll do the same right there. And then, same thing right here. We might add a couple of lines right there. Might even add another one right there and we might fill this area too. This might not look as, as well as I imagine. So if it doesn't, I'm always willing to, to rethink it. And then we're just going to raise this part just a little bit and carry it over to the left hand side. And these vertices, honestly, we might just raise these a little bit but in short, this is the idea I have for a Roadster version of this car. So in short, how do you master car design? Just like that. It's as simple as that. And then you could just extrude inwards on the, well, extrude once, carry it down just a little bit and move that one inwards. With this area, we'll extrude it. G, Z, and carry it down and just carry it back just a little bit. As for our roof, we'll just extrude this one and carry it down, but only a small amount. We might have to extrude again towards the rear, but before we do that, we might want to be a little bit more. These vertices, we're just gonna delete them because those are the ones we created and didn't use. We may just extrude this vertice right there, view it from the front and just carry this up, but careful not to carry it too high. 
We might also add a little loop cut right there. Yeah, you know what? I think we will. And then duplicate this and just carry it forwards. Good. We'll probably merge these at center as well. And then we can start by filling these areas. Easy as that. We might even dissolve that area and add another one around there or add it right there. And then we can just move this up. Move that one up as well. But anyway, but anyway, this is just a little idea I had when it comes to making this car convertible. That's kind of like what I had in mind. And of course, when it comes to, you know, the stylized version of this car, it will have all the necessary areas, such as like basic interior. I want to create a basic interior, stuff like that. So keep that in mind. But that's that's actually quite interesting. So I hope this tutorial was good enough. We're going to tab in, select all and set normals. I hope this was a good tutorial. I hope you learned something. At the end of the day, I hope it was valuable in some way, shape or form, you know. Remember also these vertices, you can always carry this forwards, just a small amount. If you wish to. Well, actually, if we're going to carry that forwards, to be honest, I want to carry these vertices forward also. Not, not by a lot, but just by a small amount. Probably extend that one as well. Yeah, we keep trying. We continue to try, but it's, it's beautiful. It is absolutely beautiful. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. How to master car design. How to master car topology. I hope it's been helpful. I hope you've been able to learn something. Subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment. Remember to check out our courses. There will be a link in the descriptions. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.